Hi everyone, it's Miss Susan from Idlewild Library. Thank you again for joining me for another STEAM program today. And we're going to be learning a little bit about motion and optical illusions. But first, before we get started, I want you to think about uh, what if you did not have any television, movies, or cartoons to watch? What did uh, kids do before they had movies or cartoons to watch? Well, there was a very popular toy about a hundred years ago that was called a thaumatrope. And I have some here that I've made, and here's one that I want to show you. Um, this is a thaumatrope, and it comes from the Greek word, which means wonder turner. So today we're going to learn about how to make a thaumatrope and a little bit about how our vision works. But first, let me show you how, uh, I'll demonstrate how this works. So just watch this. And the faster we go, whoops, the faster we go, you can see that the two images, the heart and the arrow, appear to become one. Okay, so these are the materials that you'll need in order to make a, a thaumatrope. So first of all, you're going to need a piece of paper. Really any kind of paper will work, um, but probably would be best if you had uh, like a heavy cardstock paper. But like I said, construction paper or even copy paper is fine. And a pencil. And then you can use uh, like a dowel stick, a straw, or even some chopsticks. And you'll need uh, some different colored markers, scotch tape, and some glue or a glue stick. And that's essentially all you'll need, and, and a pair of scissors too. So first of all, to get started, you'll need to perhaps use like a large um, uh, disposable cup that you can trace um, a circle around in order to make your circles for the thaumatrope, as you can see. And then you'll just cut out two circles like we have here. And um, then what you'll do the next step is you'll draw two complementary uh, images. And uh, for instance, here we have a heart and an arrow. And this one uses words. It says, be mine. And here we have a fish. And it looks like somebody that wants to eat a fish. And here's a bird with a cage. And again, here's a heart with an arrow. And what's this one? Here's a, this one is I, and then it will say love you. So there's all kinds of, uh, there's no end to the different uh, types of images that you can use. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll draw your image on the one side, and then a little hint is you may want to hold that up to the light and then place your other one over so that it will correspond in the right place when you uh, get ready to turn it. And so the next step after you have your two um, circles, what you'll want to do is turn it over. And like I said, you can use um, a straw or a dowel. In my case, I used mainly um, chopsticks. So I'll just do that here. Then you'll lay the chopstick right in the middle. And then we'll take some tape and just tape it down so that it, it's secure. And then um, to finish your little thaumatrop lollipop, you lay the other one over. And we can take a glue stick. And uh, 
just glue it down to the other side. Or you could even tape it if that's easier for you. Whatever, okay. But you want to make sure that it lines up properly, and there you have it. You have your little thaumatrop or thaumatrope um, lollipop. So let's get spinning. Let's see how a few of these work. So here is a bird and the bird cage. Okay, can you see how the bird is inside the cage now? And now let's try the heart and the arrow. Let's see what happens. Oh, can you see the arrow going right through the heart? Okay, and let's try this one that says, I love you. Let's see. Can you see the I and the heart and the you? There we go. And maybe one more. Let's try this one. The fish and the person who wants to eat the fish. Can you see that inside his mouth? There we go. And thaumatropes use the same science that artists use when they are drawing your favorite cartoon. Our brains take the images that we see flashing on the screen and they show it as just one continuous stream of motion, not a lot of different separate little pictures. And this science is actually known as illusion of uh, apparent motion or persistence of vision. So the thaumatrope is actually the grandfather to cartoons today. And what it does, it takes the two separate images and make them uh, appear or give us the illusion that they are one image. And so that's where our cartoons come from today. Also, I wanted to mention to you that at the library we have um, some thaumatrope kits that you can come in and you can make your own thaumatrope uh, with those, but we do have a limited supply. So I hope to see you come in and, and get a kit. And I want to thank you again for joining us for today's STEAM program. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.